ever since the United States Preventative Services Task Force US, made a recommendation against the blood test called the Prostate Specific Antigen PSA, screenings for prostate cancer in 2012. There's been a concerning increase in American men being diagnosed with advanced or metastatic disease. Once again, a new study is finding this same alarming conclusion. The latest is a 2022 cohort study published in the October JAMA Oncology that reviewed 128 U.S. Veterans Health Administration facilities from 2005 to 2019. Researchers found that during this time frame, facilities with higher rates of PSA screenings had fewer metastatic or advanced prostate cancer cases. However, the opposite was found in facilities that had a lower number of PSAs. Cancer that has spread beyond the prostate gland is called metastatic prostate cancer. A man's bones or lymph nodes are the usual sites prostate cancer spreads to, making treatment more difficult, often with a poor outcome. History of PSA screening recommendations Widespread use of PSA screening began in the 1990s. As a result, physicians liberally recommended this cancer screening tool to men. From the start of using PSA screenings, the number of non-metastatic prostate cancers substantially increased among men in the U.S. Then, in 2012, the U.S. made a follow-up recommendation against PSA screening among men of any age at average risk. Starting in 2013, a significant increase in metastatic prostate cancer was noted and associated with the 2012 U.S. recommendation on PSA screenings. Once again, in 2018, the U.S. reversed course, updating its PSA screening recommendation, which now states that men 55 to 69 years old should discuss the pros and cons of this screening test with their doctors. Main takeaways from studies. While these studies have shown an increase in metastatic prostate cancer among U.S. men since the U.S. began making recommendations against PSA screenings, other factors are likely contributing to this rise. However, at this time, there is no clear explanation for specific other factors possibly increasing diagnoses of advanced prostate cancer in men. In the meantime, every man over 40 should thoroughly discuss PSA screenings with their doctor. In my practice, I highly recommend every man beginning at age 40 have a baseline PSA blood test and then yearly after that. In addition, men with a family history of prostate cancer or are African American and at a higher risk for developing prostate cancer should be screened yearly. There's a reason prostate cancer is often called the silent killer. There are few, if any symptom of the disease until it spreads beyond the prostate. And by then, it could be too late. Finding prostate cancer early, before it has metastasized, is always best for treating and possibly curing it. The stage and grade of cancer determine what treatment to prescribe for each man. The bottom line, get a PSA test beginning at age 40 and then yearly after that. This will be a man's best advice to prevent finding prostate cancer at a less treatable stage.